And now, solar mechanics. <clears throat> I'm in a campsite where uh, west is roughly that way. And uh, there's tree coverage. But if you'll notice, there is a broad swath of sky heading roughly west. So, solar panels are over here. And if we get down behind them and look up, you can see the sun starting to burn through the fog at the tops of these trees here. And I've got the, the box set up with both panels going through the DC to DC converter, pointing out 13.8 volts. And probably can't see it on the video, but that little light there tells me that it's getting just enough juice to actually start putting juice into the laptop battery, which is tucked away inside there. And in order to determine the proper angle for the uh, solar panels, I usually find myself a straight stick, like this one, put it in the ground, and if there's enough light to cast shadow, it might not be showing up on the, uh, on the video here, but the, the shadow goes like this. Basically, you tilt the stick until the shadow disappears, which means that the stick is pointed directly perpendicular uh, to the incoming sunlight. And then the angle of that stick roughly gives you the angle to tilt the solar panels at. <clears throat> and that's how you get the maximum wattage out of the sun on what is still an overcast day, but uh, the panel array is large enough that even on an overcast day like today, uh, it'll generate uh, uh, eight, 18 volts at maybe half an amp, three quarters of an amp, maybe even an amp. And the converter, when it steps the voltage down, the amperage goes up, so you end up with 13.8 volts at maybe about an amp or a little over an amp, which is uh, enough, certainly enough to charge a cell phone. Uh, it's also enough to uh, start working on charging the battery. And I expect that uh, sooner or later, the fog is going to burn off entirely. And we'll have some bright sunlight, which will track that way for psh, maybe three hours. Uh, and I will trundle the cart around uh, to keep it at maximum exposure. And uh, hopefully, I will be able to charge the little battery on my laptop, which will give me about... Uh, two and a half hours of, uh, of juice to fool around with tonight so I don't have to use my bigger backup battery that I charged from the wall socket in uh, Port Orford. And now as an added bonus, the bear bag. It is anchored to the water faucet and the line goes up, 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 and that little black dot right there is my food out of the reach of uh, bears and raccoons and uh, hungry transients. And to continue the tour, usually what I end up doing is uh, the trike gets locked up to a picnic table like this uh, and it's covered, halfway covered with the tarp now, but usually the tarp will extend all the way back and cover the, uh, uh, the trailer, which is currently doing duty as the solar station. Um, <clears throat> tent over here with the rain fly, of course, which not only gives a measure of privacy, it uh, it keeps it warmer at night, uh, keeps me dry if there's a dew fall, which sometimes there is when you're this close to the ocean. And then inside the abode, I have uh, I have the uh, my. Uh, collapsible pillow here, which is new and very nice. Uh, slumberjack bag, thermarest pad on top of the lightweight cot, which uh, apparently is too lightweight because I've broken the cot fabric and uh, broken one of the side poles, but the guy who makes it has a very good warranty program that if you break it, he sends you new bits. So I have another piece picking up a new slightly heavier duty cot fabric piece uh, in L Lolita, general delivery on Monday or Tuesday, 
And uh, the side pole will be coming to Mendocino, and I'll pick that up uh, uh, probably on uh, next Monday, somewhere around there. But in the meantime, I've effected some repairs with uh, dental floss and electrical tape and put the cracked pole down by my feet where it doesn't have to support so much weight. And it's still pretty comfy. I slept straight through last night, which is uh, something that didn't used to happen, just sleeping on the ground. So quite pleased with that. And uh, anyway, it's home for the next five weeks, I guess, something like that.